So what is going on everybody? Sorry about the lack of uploading recently. I had some family over this weekend. I had some homework to get done. Pretty busy weekend for me. Pretty busy week, I guess you could say. But now I am back. I am back and I'm going to be releasing some videos for you guys this week that I hope you guys will enjoy. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to set the... I'm going to set the level to gold rare, which is what I normally do when I'm going to buy a player on the market. And then I'm going to set this buy now maximum to 10k. I'm going to go into the market and I'm basically going to pick out some of the players that I've used in NHL 17 because I've used a lot of players. I sell my team constantly. I love trying out new guys in the game. So I have used a lot of players before. I do have experience with a lot of different cards in this game. So I'm going to pick out a few that are under 10k that you guys should maybe try out that you haven't tried out yet or that you guys or that I think you guys might like. So let's just get right into this right now. Looking at the first page here, let me try and pick out some players that I've used. Braden Shen, I will start things off with Braden Shen. I use this card for pretty much all of competitive seasons three the series 2 season and he wasn't bad at all with that 88 speed 88 acceleration 88 deking or uh, hands i should say cross the board he was not bad card at all to play on the right wing there with the left-handed shot he was really good i really enjoyed using him so you guys could try him out patrick marlowe is another card that took me through pretty much all of series two competitive seasons three he actually notched up about 15 points in 10 games which wasn't bad at all for a third liner fourth liner i don't really remember where i played him Carl Hagelin, I have his 90 overall all-star card and it is fabulous. It is so good. And I have used this card before. I used it on earlier in the game. No question he should have got that all-star card. So many people use them. If you haven't used them before, I definitely recommend you try him out. He is he's just awesome. He's awesome. His shooting isn't that great, but his deking and his hands are good enough to score you some goals. Nazem Kadri's series two card was really good for me too. Look at these stats. 92 speed, 92 acceleration. Not bad at all. He's got 89 80 90, 90 shooting so that's not bad either his offensive stats are disgusting i mean look at all the 90s on the left side column he was really good for me i wouldn't play him at center 79 faceoffs is pretty weak i'd play him on the right wing but either way i really enjoyed him i used him in competitive seasons three and he was really good for me there's certain cards that i'm on the hunt for while i'm looking for not on the hunt for that just sounds weird um but yeah no there's some there's some certain cards that i'm looking for in amongst these and uh, once I find them, I'll be able to sh talk about them. Michael Grabner, absolutely fantastic card, okay? Like, no joke. 96 speed, 96 acceleration. I think that's his highest rated card, but I'm not entirely sure. He might have a player of the game that's higher. But, yeah, I, this card is absolutely disgusting. I mean, he just blows by defense, but gets breakaways pretty much once or twice a game for me. He's outstanding. He's a fabulous player to use in this game. Travis Konechny, another really good card. I'm, I seem to be picking a lot of the speedsters, but I'm not even kidding. This guy is just, he's so good. He wins faceoffs. He absolutely blows by defensemen. Back in forward, back in deke, instant goal all the time. He is so good. As soon as I can get these shite bronze and silver players off of my team, I'm going to put him back on my team as my fourth line center because he's too good. He's too good. Another player to look at is Ryan Johansson. An 89 for under 10k is always really good. 6'3", 218. That's a big guy right there. His shooting stats are nasty. His deking stats are good. He's good on the faceoffs. It seems like his faceoffs are better than 82 he wins them way more than it seems but uh, yeah he's a really good card and for under 10k that is really good another one here mark edward vlasic i use him in my team once these bronze and silvers are gone i'm gonna put him back in my team because he is really good 92 stick checking 92 shot blocking stick checking is really important higher stick checking seems to allow your player to get less penalties less cpu penalties the poke checking is cleaner so i like his card for stick checking it's really good and he's got 89 89 speed and acceleration so that's really good as well oh yeah here we go jason palmanville another really good card he's another card that i used for a series two competitive seasons except he was actually on my first line and he was scoring goals like you wouldn't believe he was absolutely fantastic his offensive stats are really really quality stats there and yeah this card is really good i definitely definitely recommend it mitch Marner's card gets mixed reviews for me if you can afford his series 2 card i definitely say go ahead and get it because it's fantastic if not i would suggest getting his base card his stats are just ridiculous i mean look at that speed and acceleration his shooting stats are nasty that's another card i would recommend getting i don't know if you play it on face-offs depends on how good you are at face-offs if you're not so great i would suggest getting a better face-off man one with better face-offs if you're okay at face-offs you're pretty good i would say put him at, at center 
because he will win draws for you but um if not then i'd say no jeff carter's card is really good in this game his series two card is fantastic if you can afford a series two card i think it's only like 11k 12k maybe even for under 10k i'm not quite sure if you can afford that card get it right now he is absolutely like his card is so good his series two card this card doesn't look bad either he's got 92 slap shot power 91 wrist shot accuracy offensive stats are through the roof and definitely if you can get a series two card get that but if not i would recommend getting jeff carter's uh, just base gold card for under 10k. That's not bad at all. Mark Giordano, another solid card in this game. I've actually liked using Mark Giordano throughout other games. And his card in this game is actually good as well. 87 body checking, 90 stick checking. That's really good on the defenseman. He is definitely a good card to get for under 10k for sure. Loot change is a bit of a hidden gem, I guess you could say. His 96 body checking is like, oh my god. He... He kills people. He cranks people open ice, injures people, gets into fights, kills people there. He is like the perfect third line winger, fourth line winger to play on your team. He's not that fast. His shooting could be a little bit better, but when he's in the right slot, he will get some goals. Okay, here we go. This is the one I've been waiting for. Phil Kessel base card is probably the number one card you guys should get for under 10k. This card, I've had this card throughout entire NHL 17. I got him like maybe the first or second week he came out and I've had him ever since. Well, I've sold him and bought him back previous times when his price went up and down. But essentially, I've had his card for so long. It's so good. It's like his card is basically has everything. His card has everything. He's got shooting. He's fast. He can deke. He's a big guy. I know it only says 80 body checking, but he can hit like you wouldn't believe. You cut across the ice, shoot far side, in instant goal with Phil Kessel. He is literally the best card you could get for under 10k. I'm not even joking. And with that in mind, I will wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this made it a little easier for you guys to find some players. I recommended some guys that maybe you haven't tried out yet. Maybe you might want to try out now. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. This is all opinion based. This is all my personal preference of players. So if I missed anybody, comment them down below. Tell me why you like them. Tell everybody in the comments why you like them. Maybe somebody else watching this video will see that and they might want to try out that player as well. Thank you guys for watching this video as always if you enjoyed the video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe the subscribers have been coming in like crazy lately we're almost at a thousand at 1000 subscribers i will be doing a pretty cool giveaway so stay tuned for that yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and i will see you in the next video